Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, March 3rd, 2023. I am Fredicia Liburd. 49 Years of Mass and Spree, Culturama 2023, is the winning slogan for the 49th anniversary of Nevis's Culturama Festival, which will be celebrated from July 27th to August 8th, 2023. The winning slogan was penned by Brazier's resident, Jean Keynes. It was selected from a record number of 676 entries that were submitted to the Culturama 49 Slogan Contest, which launched on January 16th and closed on February 17th, 2023. Keynes will receive a cash prize of $500, two sets of complimentary tickets to all Culturama 49 activities, and a plaque. The Nevis Culturama Committee takes this opportunity to congratulate Jean Keynes for winning the Culturama 49 Slogan Contest and also wishes to congratulate her on her second Culturama Slogan Contest win as she won the Culturama Slogan Contest in 2012. The Culturama Secretariat thanks everyone who participated in the 2023 Nevis Culturama Festival Slogan Competition. The Nevis Tourism Authority has announced the appointment of Fayon Jones to manage and advance the institution's strategy as Director of Sales and Marketing with specific responsibility for the North American market. CEO of the Nevis Tourism Authority, Devon Liburd, says the Nevis Tourism Authority is thrilled to welcome Jones as Director of Sales and Marketing for All Markets. The goal is to continue showcasing the beautiful elements and unique events of the destination, as well as diversify and expand source markets. Jones brings more than 14 years of marketing experience with an extensive wealth of knowledge in the area of customer service, sales, marketing, and social media marketing. He holds a bachelor's degree in business management and marketing from St. Thomas University in Miami, Florida. Additionally, he has earned professional financial certificates throughout his career. The Small Enterprise Development Unit, SIDU, is inviting small and medium-sized enterprises, entrepreneurs, and leaders of organizations to take the Eastern Caribbean Business Resilience Challenge. This challenge is part of USAID's Caribbean Corporate Investment for Resilience, CCIR, initiative. To be eligible, applicants should have revenue or financial streams that will produce a rate of return, have an idea or business model to increase business and or community resilience to disasters, be able to receive loan funding, and be able to provide historical financial information. Through this opportunity, applicants can access flexible funding options on terms catered to their capital needs, workshops and seminars, and assistance creating bankable business proposals. To learn how to access up to $100,000 in concessional loan financing and technical assistance, Sidhu Nevis and the CCRI Blended Finance Team is inviting applicants to a webinar on March 13, 2023. The session will take place at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Conference Room on March 13, 2023. To register, visit the Small Business Development Center Nevis Facebook page and scan the QR code on the flyer for the webinar or contact the Small Enterprise Development Unit, SIDU, at 469-5521 extension 5171 for registration assistance. Registration will close on Thursday, March 9th, 2023. We are glad that you could make it. We know that it was extremely short notice but we are glad that the people of God can come together to pray, to worship, irrespective of denomination, irrespective of church, parish. And so we are glad that all of us can worship together in spirit and in truth. We want to recognize um, the presence of the Honorable Premier, Honorable Mark A.G. Brantley, Premier of Nevis. We're glad to have him. Amen. We're also glad to have the presence of Honorable Janice Daniel Hodge, leader of the Nevis Reformation Party. Also glad to have her. 
also glad to have all of the pastors represented here from different um, churches. We are always glad to have as many people as possible worshiping with us. Chair of the Nevis Evangelical Association, Ron Daniel. The Nevis Evangelical Association and the Nevis Christian Council partnered to host events on Nevis on Tuesday, February 28th, the first National Day of Prayer in St. Kitts and Nevis, initiated by the Ministry of Ecclesiastical Affairs. The events included the broadcast of prayers by members of the clergy throughout the day on local radio and television, visits to schools to pray for the nation's children, a time of prayer at all churches, corporate prayer at the New Testament Church at Bath Road, a prayer walk which culminated with prayer in the square at the War Memorial in Charlestown, as well as a joint worship service to offer prayers of thanksgiving, prayers against the strongholds in our land for the nation's leaders and its people, and a prayer of consecration. Even as people of faith, we are emotional beings, and God has created us this way. So no matter how good of a politician or a leader you are, no matter how faithful to God you might be, you can be coming to church every weekend and, 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 and appearing to be so, so sanctimonious and, and, and so holy. The reality is we are all human beings. And as human beings, sometimes we are afraid. I just want to remind us of three things and I'll sit down. It is okay to be afraid. But even when you are afraid, seek God. Number one. Number two, the God we serve is still able to deliver us as a people and as a nation, even in times of crisis. We would have seen it before, and we know he can do it again. The final point is that because we understand what God is able to do, then we have to position ourselves as if we are confident of the victory because we know that when it comes to spiritual warfare and battles that we face, our posture, our posture is important. May God continue to bless you. The sermon was delivered by Pastor Otis Brown of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. The service for the National Day of Prayer will be broadcast in its entirety on Sunday, March 5th, on Nevis Television. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Sillybird. Thank you for viewing.